What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than ever, kill. And I'm back here on Destiny live, and it's Friday. And I know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel. You should know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel. But oh, do you smell that? Hey, Petra. Do you know what day it is? Because uh, I, I think you need to go over there and change them underwear. <laughs> because, ooh, it's kind of musty in here, Petra. Ooh, we're live in the queef. <laughs> and it's Friday, and we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? That's right. It's a visit from that dick-faced man, Jur, the agent of the night. He's a rare NPC that shows up in a tower or the queef once a week with a backpack full of exotic gear and or weaponry. Before we go in there... Before we make our way over to this dick face man, I want to say something to all y'all motherfuckers out there. Because I see social media buzzing about this shit. So I decided to take a look at it because I'm not really into like all the new age hip hop culture and everything. But people are like, oh my god, you know, drink this fucking meat mill is so bad. You gotta listen to the mixtape. And you know what? People are like, you gotta listen to the mixtape. Sometimes you gotta listen to the mixtape, right? And I feel sorry for you kids. Because what I heard was literally one of the wackest rap battles that I've ever heard in my life. And I'm white and grew up in the hood, alright? So I've heard plenty of kids come by and try to drop a few verses and just really blow it. But, <laughs> ooh, he blew it good. But when it comes to Drake and Meek Mills, I listen to both of them. It, it, it's whack as fuck when you consider, you know, growing up, you know, we had the whole Jay-Z versus Nas beef with Ether. You know, DMX dropped Party Up. Eminem ruined plenty of people's career. And we also had a uh, fucking 50 Cent with uh, Your Life's on the line. And of course, who can forget Tupac's Hit Me Up, right? Exactly. You go through all these, like, past rap battles, LL with Cannabis, and all these beefs, and you look at Drake versus Meek Mills, and you're just like, these motherfuckers need to get a real job, because I ain't feeling anything they're putting down. Not one bit. And then, you know, this is the only reason I gotta mention this, because as a sneakerhead... Right? I, I love seeing new Jordans come out. Nike goes ahead and tweets out last night. Surprise! They're dropping the OVO Jordan 10 Drake Jordans, right? During this whole shitstorm, and I'm sitting here like, why the fuck do I feel like Meek Mills and Drake both just sat down and was like, yo, you wanna sell a bunch of Jordans? <laughs> right? Right? It's whack ass rappers. Like, look. Look, 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 look. All you gotta do is let me fuck you up in a rap battle. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll sell a shit ton of Jordans to these kids out there making a bunch of money. I, f I feel like that's what happened. I really do. But we're three minutes in on this video. Let's go ahead and check out this motherfucker's... Yeah, I, I knew it. Why, why did I have a feeling that we weren't gonna get any bones? I want the bones, Bungie! <laughs> so... This is Jur, he's the agent of the nine, he comes once a week with this shit. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> These are the no backup plans for the Titans. These increase the duration of force failure, increase your melee attack speed, and increase your reload speed with special weapons. It has a 103 strength roll, which actually isn't too bad when you consider that that's actually a gauntlet, and you can pair that to the normal gauntlet rolls on a... What's that right there? 93, 118. So yeah, it's it's like right in the middle of where it should be. Because I'm pretty sure these are very high roll for the Don't Touch Me Bros. When, when they first came inside the uh, Dark Below DLC, everybody's like, Oh my god, did you, did you see the roll on them? And like, the next day they showed up with like, 19 less discipline. I ain't even lying about that. I ain't even lying about that. Bungie says, Oh, we can't edit fucking Jerry's inventory when he doesn't show up with a fucking weapon. But uh... Yeah, we, we could lower the fucking stats on shit. Ninja, right? They, they, they don't even show you that. But, uh, yeah, my, my don't touch me. I mean, my Kepra Sting has, like, the worst roll ever. like, 93 strength. <laughs> Absolutely dog shit. But then we get the Knucklehead Radar. This grenade hits restore melee grenade. grenade right? Melee energy. More super energy from non-guardian kills. And your radar remains visible while at aiming primaries. So, basically, 
Uh, b besides the third eye on this uh, on this weapon, it's basically a legendary helmet. I mean, if you if you need it to reach level thirty four, go ahead by all means. But if you want to use it, there's plenty of better options for the uh, hunters, especially if you got damn bones. Oh yeah! <laughs> then we got. The Claws of Am Kura, which gain an additional charge for all Warlock charged melees, increase reload speed with special weapons, and increases Warlock melee attack speed. Now, I've been one-shot quite a few times by melee Warlocks inside, not just the Trials of Osiris, but regular Crucible throughout my time in the PvP. And playing as a character that carries... A motherfucking knife! Wait, that's not where my knife is. My knife is on my hip. It's right there. You can't see it. Right? Can we, can we, can we get a... No, no, no. Well, I mean, we can't see the knife! Trust me! My hunter has a knife. He also carries a butter knife that he throws at people. Does no damage in the crucible. <laughs> but as a character that carries a knife, you know, to a battle, I feel like I should win against a character that just waves his hand at me. He's like, Ooh. Warlock! Like, like how, how do you, how do you find out that you could do that to you? Like, you're fucking sitting there singing, you're like, oh, and you put your arm up and your buddy just disintegrates in a fire, like, oh, man, how, how am I gonna explain this to mom, pa? <laughs> so I waved my hand at him and he died from three feet away. Ain't nobody believing that. Nobody. The first warlock ended up in jail. Guarantee it. <laughs> then we got the Soros motherfucking regime. Of course, Bungie is going to bring this bad boy back because they just announced all their weapon manufacturers. And this is a Soros weapon. Is it, see, it says Soros. It says Soros right here. And even, even this right here it says Soros regime. So this weapon used to be the scourge of the PvP Crucible until they nerfed all auto rifles. For no reason other than the fact that they could have just nerfed this weapon. <laughs> so, this has focus fire. When zoomed, the weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. So, those of you guys out there that saw my Deadshot Luna and you were like, Oh my god, that fires like an assault rifle? Yeah, well, a Deadshot Luna with full auto will fire like an auto rifle. And this motherfucker with the focus fire... Fires like a scout rifle, so I kind of wish there is an option here, like, after you do level up a weapon all the way up, like, may maybe I want to turn focus fire off. I don't care about that additional damage. I want my weapon to have a little bit of fiery, but no, you can't. Yeah, you have to pick that to get past that, but you can't deactivate it. Not once. I feel like, I feel like you should be able to, to customize your weapons just a little bit better. So, this also has high caliber rounds, hammer forged, and lightweight, which isn't a bad perk at all because I like to run a max agility build. If you take a look right here, see? All agility. And I think my blade dancer is agility too. Yep, see? All agility. Oh, it. Oh, well, I can get more agility, but then I sacrifice armor. There's no way for a fucking goddamn gunslinger to get max armor and agility. I, I just have to deal with being ass slow if I want fucking armor. And it kind of sucks, because I love fun slinging. I really do. <laughs> so, we also got exotic shards. If you ain't got none of these, you probably should already, because I got 60 of them. And I'm, that, that, that's just a low count. I know some people out there is like, yeah, I got like 900 strange coins. And what am I going to buy this week? Woo! Those people need to go outside. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Then we also got fucking exotic helmet Ingrams. Those of you guys that got extra boats laying around. Probably would have just picked this up because you'll level up your Crypt Arc, get yourself a package, and get absolutely nothing inside of it. So, I mean, that's always exciting. <laughs> then we got heavy ammos. This is one strange coin. Get you five heavy ammos. Not a bad deal. I used to make fun of this before I noticed the five down at the bottom. It's absolutely funny, though, when I look back at those old videos and I'm like, Don't waste your fucking strange coins on the heavy ammo! 
You want a fucking plasma drive. That's what you want. <laughs> so, these are plasma drives. These will turn your blue rarity sparrow into a legendary rarity sparrow and give you the color of the contrail as denoted on the player card as seen in Jer's inventory right there. And you, you would think that that was actually scripted, but it's not. I, I pulled those words straight off the dome, son. I should, I should go write a fucking rap battle against Meek Mills and Drake. And win that shit. <laughs> no. Max. Max not capable of doing that. I could. But I'm not good. Nah, I'm, I'm not capable of that. But then we also got telemetry. These are post rifle, scout rifle, sniper rifle. And if you use these in conjunction with turning in your bounties at the same time. All the XP from the bounties. However, I don't have an X a fucking bounty. Finally, my actually bounty inventory is clear to show you that there's, there's, there's XP on bounties. But yes. If you use that in conjunction with these, when you turn it inside your fucking bounties, anything you have equipped currently will gain that XP. So you don't have to use your actual ammo. That ammo. You don't have to use your actual weapons or armor to level them up. So you don't have to be like, oh god, I got a subclass to level up. I don't want to run into a fucking prison of elders level 35 with no double jump. No double jump. Nobody wants to do that. That's fucking absolutely ridiculous <laughs> then we also have focus light though if you have the red bull codes and you get one of these this plus this plus bounties equal up a fully leveled up weapon with one round of bounties and one round of heiress bounty so uh remember that if you got those red bull codes save them for leveling some shit up they actually work quite uh quite efficiently i enjoy them even though, uh, I don't enjoy the price of Red Bull. Or, I don't enjoy the taste of Red Bull either. I, I fucking tasted one the other day. And not, not only did I feel like that the thing was absolutely going to kill me one day if I drank, like, a very large stock of this. But it also kind of reminded me of the time that I got gasoline in my mouth dropping a fucking fuel tank on an old-ass goddamn fucking uh, Camaro. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you fucking undo the filler tank, the neck, where you, you, you know when you put your goddamn gas in? That's the filler neck. When you unbolt that from the gas tank, sometimes there's a little bit of gas trapped up inside there, and it was old gas, and kind of reminds me what Red Bull tastes like. But, uh, I absolutely love the smell of gas. I really do. So, that's it for this week. Motherfucking Jer, motherfucking dicks on his face, in the motherfucking queef, and goddamn it, Petra! You still didn't change those underwears. You still didn't change the underwear, dog. I smell your pussy you from here. Wait, well, she's all happy about it too. She's like, "Oh yeah, get in there, smell it." <laughs> that's that's a little weird. So my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gets motivated to make more videos for you, motherfuckers. Now watch. My motherfucking videos. I'm also gonna show you guys this because some people keep fucking tweeting me like, Mac, did you notice? Yes. Yes, I did. Shut up. Shut up. Ready. No. You shut up. I think if you turn this on, he starts blabbing his ass off again. Yep. Fuck you. Go back to bed. Go to sleep. Ain't nobody got time for you. And there's a servitor eye over here, but somebody stole it. Somebody stole my eye from the junk pile. Dag nabbit. <laughs> so, oh, there it is. Wait, no, that, that's a radish. That's a radish. That is not servitor. Uh, God damn it, Varix. Why are you, why are you so annoying? I told you. Yes. <laughs> so, like I said, my name's Jay. We're going to have to kill. Thanks for watching. Oh, there's a servitor eye. See? Oh. See, servitor, ah. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, my name's Jay. Whatever, girl. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. You can actually, you can actually slam this thing into the wall a bunch of times, and it blows up, and it makes a bunch of noise. It's kind of funny. It's absolutely extraneous, though. It doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't open up any doors inside the reef. That would be cool, though. If it was like an Easter egg. Oh, look at that! Look, see, there it goes! Oh.